Number 10. The Empress of Ireland The wreck of the Empress of Ireland was one of the worst maritime disasters in Canadian history. It happened on May 29, 1914, when a British-built ocean liner collided with a Norwegian ship called the Storstad in thick fog near the mouth of the St. Lawrence River. The Empress sank in just 15 minutes, killing over a thousand passengers and crew members. Most of the victims were Canadian or British immigrants who were returning home or visiting relatives. The wreck was caused by human error, poor visibility and unfortunate timing. Both captains made poor decisions, resulting in their ships colliding. The fog reduced visibility to almost zero and made communication difficult between ships. The collision happened at night, when most passengers were asleep in their cabins and had no time to escape. The wreck had lasting impacts on maritime safety, salvage operations and historical preservation. It raised awareness about fog signals, navigation lights, life-saving equipment and emergency drills. It sparked legal disputes between the owners of both ships over liability and compensation. It inspired salvage operations that recovered artifacts from the sunken ship. It was also designated a Canadian National Historic Site in 2009 and is a popular diving destination for explorers. Number 9. The Seaborne Spirit The Seaborne Spirit was a luxury cruise ship that operated for Seaborne Cruise Line from 1989 to 2015. It was known for its high-end amenities, intimate atmosphere and exotic destinations. However, it also faced a terrifying ordeal in 2005 when it was attacked by pirates off the coast of Somalia. In the early morning hours of November 5, 2005, a mothership launched two pirate speedboats that intercepted the Spirit while it was traveling from Alexandria, Egypt to Mombasa, Kenya. She had 115 passengers on board. The pirates attempted to board the cruise liner and seize hostages by using rocket-propelled grenades and machine guns. The crew of the Spirit fought back with a sonic weapon that emitted a loud noise to deter the attackers. The captain also increased the speed and changed course to outrun them. After an hour-long chase, the ship managed to escape with minor damage and one crew member injured by shrapnel. The Spirit reached the Seychelles safely on November 7, 2005, where it was inspected and repaired. It then continued its voyage to Singapore as planned. The passengers praised the crew for their bravery and professionalism during the attack. The Seaborne Spirit's wreck is now on a beach in Alang, India, where it was scrapped in 2017. It's a reminder of both its elegance and adventure as a cruise ship. Number 8. The SS Eastland During the early 20th century, the passenger ship SS Eastland ran on Lake Michigan. For its quick and comfortable trips, it was dubbed the Speed Queen of the Great Lakes. The biggest marine disaster in American history occurred there nevertheless on July 24, 1915. That day, the Eastland was hired by Western Electric Company to transport its employees and their families to a picnic in Michigan City, Indiana. Over 2,500 people boarded the ship at a dock on the Chicago River. The vessel was already unstable due to design flaws and recent modifications that increased the ship's weight. As passengers moved around on the deck, the ship began to tilt dangerously. At 7.28 a.m., before it even left the dock, the Eastland rolled over onto its port side. Many people were trapped inside or crushed by furniture and equipment. Others fell into the murky water or were pulled under by suction. Despite rescue efforts by nearby boats and bystanders, 844 people lost their lives that day. The Eastland disaster shocked and saddened Chicago and the nation. It also sparked investigations and lawsuits that lasted for years. The cause of the tragedy was never conclusively determined. The Eastland was eventually sold to the U.S. Navy and converted into a gunboat named the USS Wilmot. It served until 1945 and was scrapped in 1946. The wreck of the SS Eastland remains one of Chicago's most haunting stories. It's also a reminder of how quickly life can change in an unexpected moment. Number 7. The Costa Concordia a division of Carnival Corporation called Costa Cruises ran the cruise ship known as the Costa Concordia. It was Italy's largest cruise ship at the time of its introduction in 2005. Lavish amenities on board included four swimming pools, a casino and a spa. It could accommodate 3,780 guests. 
The Costa Concordia, which had 4,252 passengers on board, was traveling in the Mediterranean Sea on January 13, 2012, close to the island of Giglio. In order to execute a salute maneuver, the captain, Francesco Chatino, diverted the intended course and guided the ship closer to the land. He erred in his distance estimation, struck a submerged rock, and tore a gash in the hull measuring 160 feet wide. The ship started to take water and tilt to one side. The crew delayed issuing an evacuation order for more than an hour while chaos and confusion ensued among the passengers. Many lifeboats were unusable due to the angle of the ship. Some people jumped into the water or used ropes and ladders to reach land. Others waited for rescue boats or helicopters to arrive. The evacuation lasted for more than six hours. By then, 32 people had died and 64 were injured. The captain abandoned ship before all the passengers were safe and was later convicted of manslaughter and other charges. The Costa Concordia sank near Giglio for more than two years before being refloated and towed away for scrap in 2014. The disaster cost billions of dollars in damages and compensation claims. It also raised questions about safety standards and regulations in the cruise industry. What's the worst cruise you've ever been on? Tell us in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Number 6. The Georges Philippard The Georges Philippard was a French ocean liner that was built in 1930 by the Maritime de France Company. It was named after Georges Philippard, a French shipbuilder and CEO of the company. The ship was designed to carry passengers and cargo between France and Asia and had luxurious facilities such as a swimming pool, a cinema and a library. On April 18, 1932, the Georges Philippard departed from Marseille on her maiden voyage to Yokohama. She carried 283 passengers and 297 crew members. Among them were famous personalities such as Albert Londres, a renowned journalist. However, on May 16, 1932, a fire started in one of the staterooms as the ship was traveling in the Gulf of Aden, close to Yemen. Fueled by combustible cargo and hardwood furnishings, the fire soon spread throughout the ship. With the help of hoses and extinguishers, the team attempted to put out the fire, but to no avail. In a panic, the travelers ran for the lifeboats. Unclad, several of them dove into the water. The fire raged for hours until it reached the engine room and caused an explosion that split the ship in two. The Georges Philippard sank with many people still on board or in the water. Only 256 people survived out of the 580 on board. The cause of the fire was never conclusively determined, but some suspect arson or sabotage. The wreck of the Georges Philippard remains one of France's worst maritime disasters. Number 5. The Sea Breeze The Sea Breeze was a cruise ship that had a long and troubled history. It was built in 1958 and had changed owners and names several times. In 2000, it was operated by Premier Cruise Lines, a company that went bankrupt in September of that year. The Sea Breeze was seized by creditors in Halifax, Nova Scotia, and its passengers were flown home early. The ship ran into a bad storm off the coast of Virginia in December of 2000 while being towed by a tugboat to Charleston, South Carolina. The ship's hull was damaged by the boiler breaking off due to the storm. The ship started to list and absorb water. The crew prepared to leave the ship and issued a distress call. Two helicopters and two airplanes from the U.S. Coast Guard reacted to the situation. The 34 crew members had to be rescued from the sinking ship while contending with 25-foot seas and 30-knot gusts. Several hoists and drops of rescue swimmers and baskets were used throughout the four-hour rescue effort. All crew members were taken to shore in safety. Just after the last passenger was saved, the sea breeze flipped over and sank. On the ocean floor, it's now located at a depth of around 2,000 feet. It is one of the few modern cruise ships that have sunk as a result of a natural disaster. Number 4. The SS America The SS America was a majestic ocean liner that sailed across the Atlantic for more than half a century. She was launched in 1939, sponsored by Eleanor Roosevelt, the wife of the U.S. President. Under various names and flags, she served as a troop transport during World War II, a luxury cruise ship after the war, and a migrant carrier. In 1993, she was sold to a Thai company that planned to convert her into a floating hotel in Thailand. However, on her final voyage from Greece to Thailand in 1994, she encountered a severe storm that damaged her tow lines and engine. 
On January 18th, she ran aground off the west coast of Huerta Reventura in the Canary Islands. She was abandoned by her owners and left to decay on the rocky shore. Over time, she was battered by the waves and wind, breaking into pieces and sinking into the sea. Only a small portion of her bow is now visible above water today. She's a sad reminder of her former glory and a haunting sight for locals and tourists alike. Number 3. The Sun Vista The Sun Vista was a cruise ship that had a long and varied history. She was built in 1963 as the Galileo Galilei, an ocean liner that sailed between Italy and Australia. In 1979, she was converted into a cruise ship and renamed Galileo. She later became Meridian under Celebrity Cruises. In 1997, she was sold to Sun Cruises and renamed Sun Vista. She operated mainly in Southeast Asia, offering cruises to Malaysia, Thailand, Singapore and Indonesia. On May 20, 1999, she was on a three-day cruise from Singapore to Penang with 1,090 passengers and crew on board. At around 10 p.m., a fire broke out in her engine room. The fire quickly spread and cut off all power and communications. The captain ordered everyone to abandon ship. The passengers and crew were evacuated by lifeboats and rafts. Some were rescued by nearby fishing boats and merchant ships. Others were picked up by helicopters and naval vessels. Fortunately, no one died or was seriously injured. The Sun Vista sank in the Strait of Malacca at 1.21 a.m. on May 21st after drifting for a while. She is currently submerged at a depth of roughly 230 feet, where she draws divers who wish to study her wreckage. The Sun Vista's demise serves as a terrible warning of the perils of fire at sea. It also serves as a tribute to their tenacity and teamwork. Number 2. The Carnival Triumph The Carnival Triumph was a cruise ship that offered fun and excitement for its passengers. It had a multi-million dollar upgrade in 2016 that added new restaurants, bars and entertainment options. It was also one of the first ships to be larger than 100,000 gross tons. However, the Carnival Triumph had faced some difficulties throughout its history. In 2013, it suffered a fire that left it adrift for four days without power or sanitation. The passengers endured harsh conditions and nicknamed it the Poop Cruise. The ship was towed to Mobile, Alabama, where it underwent repairs. In 2019, the Carnival Triumph completed its final cruise before undergoing another major transformation. It entered dry dock in Cadiz, Spain, where it was renamed Carnival Sunrise and received new features and enhancements. It emerged as a new ship with a fresh look and feel. The Carnival Triumph was a ship that had both triumphs and tribulations. It provided memorable experiences for its guests, both good and bad. It also showed resilience and adaptability by changing with the times. And at number one, the Celebrity Mercury. The Celebrity Mercury was a cruise ship that sailed for Celebrity Cruises from 1997 to 2011. It was known for its elegant design, spacious cabins and diverse itineraries. However, it also faced several challenges and mishaps during its service. The Mercury's captain was detained for drunkenness on May 19, 2006, while being subjected to a normal safety check in Seattle. This event is one of the more well-known ones. Before a new captain could board, the ship's scheduled departure for an Alaskan tour was postponed for a number of hours. Another major setback happened in 2010, when more than 400 of the 2,600 passengers and crew on board the Mercury were struck by a norovirus outbreak. The virus causes vomiting, diarrhea, and stomach cramps. The ship had to cut its Caribbean voyage short and return to Charleston for sanitation. The final fate of the Mercury was sealed in 2011, when it was sold to TUI Cruises, a German cruise line. It was renamed Mine Shift 2 and underwent extensive refurbishment. It continued to operate until 2019, when it was replaced by a newer ship with the same name. The wreckage of the Celebrity Mercury has now been divided into three sections in an alien ocean world. Its largest section lies on a slope bordering different biomes, while its smaller sections are located in other areas. It's a reminder of both its glory and tragedy as a cruise ship. Thanks for watching. Which one of these disasters shocked you the most? Tell us in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.